Hi everyone. In this lecture, we are going to talk about gap. So I've created 20 items, but they don't have any numbers. Uh, the reason for that is I want all the items to be of the same width. Now, here is our CSS. Within the CSS, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the margin because uh, recently what, um, uh, what has happened to Flexbox is that this gap property, it was not supported very well by, by major browsers, but it, it is now supported and it eliminates the use of margins for grid items. And we, can, we now have a better way of providing spaces between grid items or among grid items, among individual grid items. And we used to do this with margin for Flexbox. CSS Grid had this. It used to be grid gap, and that then it was uh, uh, deprecated, and it was changed to gap. So in F F uh, Flexbox, it wasn't supported uh, by major browsers. Now it is supported. So this is a new addition to Flexbox, and it's very exciting to cover it in this video. And it eliminates the use of margins, which makes our code a little bit better and a little bit good looking. So what Gap provides for us is it provides spaces among grid items. A very, very meticulous way of doing that. So first let's go ahead and let's create our flex context. I'm going to say flex and all the items that are stacked horizontally, we know that. We are going to say flex wrap. Let's set it to wrap, so they're wrapped, but there is no space between these items. These items, they're all stuck together. Now, how can we provide a gap between them? You could also th think of this as the gutter size. It's also called gutter size. And if we say gap, now if you provide one value, that is going to be a row gap and column gap. So if I say 10 pixels, it is going to provide spaces between rows and between columns. So let's save that, there we go. So now all these spaces, they're equal. So this is 10 pixels, 10 pixels, 10 pixels, and even this space between these two rows, this vertical space, and all the horizontal, uh, um, this horizontal space, this large one, and all the vertical spaces, all of them are equal. If there is one value, that is going to be, if you want the vertical, vertical space, and the horizontal space to be the same, just provide one value. But if you want it to be different, and you want to provide different value for the row gap, let's say 10 pixel, and 30 pixel for the column gap, this is how you would do it. So you can see that the column gap is bigger, but the row gap is smaller. It is 10 pixels, and this column gap is 30 pixels. This is very cool. Now we don't need to use margins for we didn't need to use them for grid items, and now we don't need to use them for flexbox items or flex items. That's it for this lecture. See you in the next one.